what's up youtube and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a video on how i figured out what was causing my acne and how i was finally able to get rid of it stay tuned <laughs> just basically stating that I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician, I have no form of formal education or training when it comes to skincare um, or beauty in general, but this is just pretty much my experience and trial and error. So I do have some notes here because I wanted to make sure that I'm hitting every point and I'm explaining this to the best of my ability um, because I really want and I hope that this is helpful to other people because I know what it's like to struggle with acne and not being able to figure out what is causing the acne and why it keeps occurring so I'm just hoping that this will help someone else figure out how to get rid of their acne so just a little backstory I've struggled with acne ever since I started my period it wasn't as bad when I was younger and it started to get worse whenever I was in high school that's just a quick backstory of my acne journey so the first thing I did all of this started about a year ago was I analyzed my skin so I I've watched like multiple YouTube videos explaining hyperpigmentation explaining the acne process and I figured out that I really didn't have hormonal acne because if it was hormonal acne then you would get some sort of break you know what I mean so the way that the video explained it is it comes with your menstrual cycle like the acne flows with your menstrual cycle so at a certain point in the menstrual cycle I think it's about a week then you really shouldn't be getting any acne your skin should be clear and the video just explained like the ingredients that um, the specific ingredients or specific things that you should be doing um, in your skincare routine throughout those weeks so I tried that and I really analyzed my skin for about a month and I realized that I wasn't really getting any sort of breaks um, I've been to dermatologists before and they've given me prescription retinol I did use it I purged a lot I'm gonna come back to that because I think I know why I was purging so I did purge a lot and um, yeah I, I just felt like it wasn't working because I was still getting acne and then the acne was causing hyperpigmentation I think the whole point of retinol is to get rid of hyperpigmentation not to get rid of acne so retinol is good in my opinion retinol is good if you have your acne under control um, so I've tried taking birth control that didn't work I tried like, um, Sparaclo, which is um, prescribed, uh, I think it's like off brand, off some, I don't know what they call it when something is prescribed for something that it's not typically sp prescribed for, but at a lower dose. So it was uh, like high blood pressure medication, but it also was supposed to help with um, testosterone or decreasing testosterone. That didn't work. So, um, I realized like I always thought that I had oily skin and so I was using products that were drying out my skin and products that were supposed to help with oily skin and to help um, get deep into the pores yada 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 um, but then I'm, I'm using these products but I'm still like my skin is like still really oily and it's nothing is changing I'm still getting acne so then I realized that the way that oily skin works is like your skin the glaze in your skin is producing more oil simply because your skin is dry so it was just a cycle and once I like analyzed my skin and I realized and like I was looking at my current skincare routine and I realized like I'm using all these actives and all these products that are supposed to help with oily skin which I thought was what was the, what is what was causing the acne which technically it is but when you think about it it was the products 
that I was using that was causing me to have oily skin because it was drying out my skin so my skin was producing more oils and then which in turn was clogging my pores and causing acne so I was like okay so I looked at my current skincare routine and I realized that I need to like completely just change everything up and start focusing more on moisturizing my skin so I made sure to completely revamp my whole skincare routine and I started getting products that were a lot more gentle where the main purpose of the product is to moisturize the skin if so one thing I want you to think about is if you are getting a lot of acne try to think like are you using products that are drying out your skin so are you using a lot of actives or products that claim to be for oily skin which in turn is drying out your skin and there's nothing wrong with using products that are specifically for oily skin but you also have to put back the moisture into your skin you need to make sure that other products around that product are very moisturizing so far the one thing that I did was analyze my skincare and then I started to make sure I was using products that were moisturizing and products that would um, repair my skin barrier so once your skin barrier is repaired and it's healthy then you have a better chance of seeing results whenever you're using actives. I barely get acne anymore even during my menstrual cycle so I may still get like one or two and when I do get them, I just watch them and make sure that they're not getting out of control or they're not like hurting or anything. And eventually they go away by themselves within a day or two. Whereas my acne used to last on my skin for up to a week. Whenever I do get a blemish, I make sure to really take care of it. I will put like a pimple patch over it or um, if it's like really inflamed and it's hurting, then I will use my jade roller that I keep in the fridge and just like roll it over it for about a minute or so. I don't know, I don't really time it. Just roll it over until I don't feel like rolling anymore just to help calm it down because we know that ice helps with inflammation. So now I'm just gonna go through the products that I am currently using and that I've been using since I started this whole like complete revamp of my skincare routine. So the first thing I started out with changing was I started using a gentle face wash. Um, the one that I specifically use, I'll show on the screen. I think it's by Ulta um, MD or Ulta. Ulta. I don't know, but it's on the screen. It's a foaming cleanser and. It's important that you also make sure that you're cleansing for at least a minute because that really makes sure that you do not have any dirt or um, anything on your skin. So after that, I like to go in with a toner. Toners don't really do much, but the two that I like to use um, is one specifically for moisturizing and the other one is specifically for um, the help with hyperpigmentation so the glycolic acid which is this toner is very popular so I only started using the toner after I got rid of my acne so the two toners are the fresh um, hydrating toner and the pixie glow tonic toner and yeah those two are pretty popular as well and I can see why because they actually really work and I agree that they really helped my skin a lot especially the hydrating toner so the toner is also pretty important because I think that it helped get rid of any dirt that you may have missed specifically while you were washing your skin or washing your face um, and that's also the main reason why I still use it. Um, so then the third step in my skincare routine is some sort of serum. So I like to use either a hyaluronic acid. If I use a hyalur hyaluronic acid, I make sure my skin is kind of still damp from the toner. So either a hyalur hyaluronic acid or um, alpha arbutane or... Um, a retinoid but the retinoid I only use at night and but I do put it on as my third step at night time so a retinoid or a vitamin C serum so that's the 
the third step and I don't use them all at the same time it's one or the other and yeah that's it for that and then the fourth step is pretty much moisturizing so um, for the moisturizer I like to use um, something that basically just claims to be moisturizing it doesn't matter I don't think it really matters what type of moisturizer you're using as long as it says moisturizing and as long as you feel like it is moisturizing your skin then I think it's a good moisturizer and then in the mornings I use sunscreen which is very important especially for hyperpigmentation and at night I use say every Monday Wednesday and Friday I use retinol the prescribed um, gel right more they call tretinoin um, so yeah I use that and if at any time my skin feels irritated throughout the process before I use the retinol then I don't put it on because you don't necessarily need it so I'll either use it Monday Wednesday Friday or I'll use it Monday and Friday I forgot a step so at night if my skin is feeling a little bit dry so maybe once a week, or maybe once or twice a week, once every other week, I like to use a sheet mask, which is specifically for moisturizing. But yeah, nights that I don't use the retinoid, then I'll go in with um, aquifer because that helps protect your skin barrier and it also helps to keep your moisture moisture in because our skin does lose moisture to the environment so the aquifer is basically a occlusive or it doesn't have to be aquifer it could be any sort of petroleum jelly it's basically a occlusive so you put it on your skin and it just seals in the moisture that you just put on so yeah and whenever I use aquifer in the morning my skin is like so soft and smooth it's Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was able to help you. I hope I said something or something that gave you like a light bulb, like an aha moment that um, is going to help you with your skincare because I know what it's like to struggle with acne and hyperpigmentation. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Only if you want to. But So now I'm just going to be working on getting rid of my hyperpigmentation. So let me show you guys a close up of my skin. No acne, but we still have some work to do. Yeah. A B.